friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video we are going to see whether the corneal endothelium gets stained with tripan blue dye or not when the air bubble is not used or when the air bubble doesn't stay in the anterior chamber this is a mature cataract the patient is 35 years old the patient is under peribulbar block scleral rigidity is low i have made a posterior limbal incision and this is a mid limbal incision and now as i try to inject air bubble the air bubble tends to come out however the air bubble stayed at one moment but as soon as i injected the dye the most of the air came out and the let us see if the cornea corneal endothelium gets stained with tripan blue dye or not yes we can see that there is staining of the corneal endothelium by the dye there was a small air bubble at the center the staining is less at this area and around the air bubble there is a lot of staining of the dye however this will not cause too much hindrance in visibility but definitely it can cause reduction of visibility to some extent now since this uh, is, is uh, intumescent cataract actually pre intumescent cataract and there is convexity of the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens i decompressed the capsula bag aspirating some cortical lens matter and then visco was injected into the anterior chamber and after that the small rex is enlarged small nick is made at 7 o'clock this capsula tag is held with the tray tag again and then the rexis is enlarged if we remove a lot of cortex at this time there is no tendency of the capsule to run to periphery and now see how the nucleus is being managed very soft nucleus the patient is only 36 years old a lady the lens matter the lens mass is emulsified and removed bit by bit without trying to chop it because this is a very soft lens mass there's no need to try to chop it this is a real time hence forth this is 150% speed cortex is removed with the help of this simco cannula 23g simco I made a side port at seven o'clock also, and through that side port, it was very easy to remove the cortex from the upper part. At this time, we can see that the staining from the corneal endothelium 
has almost gone off. Visco is used to fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and this is Technis 1 from Johnson and Johnson. No financial interest but this is my favorite monofocal intraocular lens. Beautiful lens, no glistening over the ears and patients are very happy. So aspheric lens. The size of the rexis has been about 5.5 millimeter and the optic is getting overlapped by the rim of the anterior capsule all around. Visco is nicely cleaned. We must remove visco from the anterior chamber from the antechamber angle we must go behind the intraocular lens after using Simco for some time I ask for bimanual irrigation aspiration irrigate first go behind the intraocular lens irrigate the capsular bag And then I use irrigation and aspiration together and most of the visco, almost all, comes out. If you do surgery meticulously, patients will be very happy. If you don't take much care removing visco, there can be raised intraocular pressure next day because of retained visco and the patients will not be happy so always give some quality time when you you remove the visco and this may take longer time than nucleus management in soft cataracts if you can do hydro implantation then this is this time is saved to a great extent Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. In this video, we have seen that the tripan blue dye do stain the corneal endothelium and later on it tends to get washed off.